see it's some time ago we made a retro pc video so why not do it now now on this episode i'm gonna show you something really really cool that phil from phil's computer lab has put together for us a really nice ms dos setup disc now ms dos is my favorite operating system when i was a little kid i used it Today, these old computers, their hard disks are really, really unreliable. So what do you do? You go on eBay and you buy one of these really cheap IDE2 compact flash adapters. You install it like this directly on the motherboard. So no IDE cable, no nothing. It's just so beautiful directly on the motherboard. And on top of that, the MS-DOS operating system can have two gigabyte partitions. If you buy a two gigabyte dirt cheap compact flash card you are ready to go but the hard disk is, is installed but it's not set up phil's computer lab get this file i will link it right f disk and the disk will load and we will jump into f disk let's display the partition information for no partition all right it's a brand new compact flash card let's go ahead and create one one yes sirs and to choice primary yes sirs the maximum available space yes sir and it's done and it will restart the pc here so beautiful everything is set up these are just beautiful you can buy them everywhere on ebay as you can see ide to cf adapter and cf cards dirt cheap as you can see we have just partitioned the uh, compact flash card and we have rebooted now we need to format it we will write format and add command com then you say dash s and it will format loading the format command oh sorry you will write format the c drive of course and s again and now it will start formatting the Compact Flash card. It's loading. It's lo oh, look at this ESS, amazing audio. Do you want to format? Yes, sir. As you can see, two gigabyte partition, and it's, and it's formatting. It's formatting really, really fast. These old unreliable hard disks, they're just done and gone, man. Forget about them. Retro, there we go. All right. Now, in theory, we could take out the disk. We could restart the PC. <laughs> and this disk, I will get a link to you. So you can go into Phil's computer lab and you can download this disk and make your very easy, in a matter of minutes, setup. As you can see, it's booted from the C drive. Beautiful stuff. But the C drive is empty, right? We should install MS-DOS and all the drivers for the mouse, for the sound card. But again, Phil's computer lab to the rescue. Because if we just jump over to the A drive, take directory, then you can see Phil has put up everything together for us. So we just say install, press enter, and it will start reading. It's really, look, look at this beautiful computer. I really love these old desktop computers. The height is not allowed to be more than two CD-ROM drives, not three. Then I don't like it. It has to be two and it's beautiful. This one should have a floppy here also and had a display here and some retro stuff. As you can see, Phil has put in mouse drivers, unison audio card drivers. And this one has got a beautiful, beautiful audio card with the wavetable header with the Dream Blaster. After the audio is installed, we are installing MS-DOS commands. You can see edit and if this can format and mem to check the memory and scan this to scan and X copy and undelete and everything. It's just getting installed. There we go. Everything is installed and ready to go. We can check out the disk. We can restart the PC. Look at this beautiful card, man. 
it's an AMD K6 at 300 megahertz and it's just so fast for MS-DOS gaming it's awesome as you can see he has put up everything do I want to boot with CD-ROM drive without CD-ROM drive with expanded memory extended memory let's just see if it will see uh, see the CD-ROM drive yes it did as you can see the CD-ROM drive is ready we can see um, we can enter drivers and if I say dear again then I can see unisound all right let's go ahead and say uni it's a matter of minutes look at this universal ISAP PMP sound card it's found my ESS card 1868 oh my god I reviewed that card on another video gonna write retro Django ESS 1868 and you can see my love for it the MPU, if I wanna if I wanna run general MIDI, then it's 330. RQ5, DMA1 and 220. The only thing I'm gonna ask Phil about is how do I get this mixer volume to a hundred? How do I do that? I don't know it. Now it should be ready, guys. Um let me see if I have a disc here with some games on it. We got a game here. Um now this video is really a dirty video let's see if we can um, run it from the floppy drive <laughs> um, I hope the floppy drive flop this works yeah it works let's try set up Woo! how cool is that so yeah go into Phil's computer lab and as you can see we have a complete MS-DOS setup under eight minutes everything is ready to go so this this disk is just a dream disk so go ahead throw out your old hard disks oh why did we lose the audio oh look at look at this this is pure awesomeness and I even made two disks look at this dust bolt <laughs> dust bolt <laughs> it's so cool man cheap cheap easy to set up so just go ahead, get your old PC again, set it up, and install your awesome MS-DOS games because this is this is just pure awesomeness, man. Phil, thank you, buddy. Your disc is awesome. And to my viewers, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I hope you will go in and check out Phil's computer lab because I mean, you can do this in a matter of minutes. Retro Django out. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not fully satisfied yet. I should make a part two, but I'm not gonna make a part two because we're in Norton Commander and we don't have a mouse, okay? So, Drivers has got the mouse. Drivers has got the Unisound. Do I need to go in and activate it at the time? No, do I need to do that? No, because you just go into auto exit pad. You edit it and you go down. I mean, Phil is just a man. As you can see, uh, you just remove. In this case, I will remove this and now it will load my mouse driver and I will remove this. And then I will save. There we go. That's it. Now I will restart the PC and it should actually boot up with the mouse cursor and also set up everything for my sound card over there. As you can see, let's just see, yeah, also my CD-ROM drive, yes please. Let's see, CD-ROM drive, found, sound card, found, mouse driver installed. And Norton should have my mouse cursor look at this it works <laughs> all right all right that's beautiful the last thing we're going to do is actually something i love to do look 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 at this look at this J just look up this is the first disc okay look at how these it's it's crazy are you ready are you ready If this room CD-ROM drive works, it works nice. You will write bass. Look at this beauty. 
for the boxing. Let me see here. Alone in the dark. Nice. Beneath a steel sky. Nice. Blood money. California. Oh, cannon fodder. We need to install cannon fodder. We just need it. We just need that game. So let it just install from the CD-ROM drive into the hard drive. <laughs> actually, um, actually, this one has got a lot of lights, LED lights on the hard disk reading and blah, blah, blah. Oh, we got Civilization, we got Commander Keen, we got Dark Sun, we got Dark Heart, we got Doom. New levels, let's just take Doom. Look at Doom, what it will take an hour to install. Yeah, this big, huge file. Come on. It will take a minute or so, but it's uh, you just press enter and you got this disc and this, 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 this. Oh my God, so many games. Doom, new levels. Oh, Doom, new Kim, Dino Blaster. Look at this beauty, guys. All right, all right. Oh, wait, we got gods. We got golden eggs. We need gods. Let's install Gods, there we go. And we got Gods in this computer, that's awesomeness. All right, let's escape this beauty. Let's jump over to the C drive. Let's jump over to the games directory. Let's, uh, what was it doing, what? CD doom dash V16, there we go. Set up. There we go. We take music. We will say Sound Blaster 220. Sound. We will say Sound Blaster 220. 5, 1, 8 channels. And we will say Save and Run Doom. Look at how easy everything is. Not using your seconds on install. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. installing auto drivers. No, nothing. It just works. Oh, yes. How do I make that? Haha, <laughs> if you have 386. Oh, it's so cool. It just works, man. Look at this beauty. But we're gonna do something else. Something else. <laughs> it's so cool. We're entering setup again. S E T U P. There we go. And we will go in and say music card and choose general MIDI 330. Yes, sir. Now we will use the that little dream blaster that says, Oh, yes. Now the audio is magical. It's magical. This is the problem. Whoa, it's loud. Oh, 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 oh. Right. oh, yes, listen to the music. Oh, 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 oh. Play with one hand. <laughs> I mean the dream blaster. It's it's amazing. Yeah, baby. Phil's computer lab makes everything so easy to run. This is this is pure awesomeness. Have a great day out there. This is how you end the video. Bye.